today we will discuss a practical on adaptive modification of feed in birds. Introduction A biological adaptation is any structural that is morphological or anatomical, physiological or behavior characteristics of an organism or group of organisms such as species that make it better suited in its environment. Structural adaptations are special body parts of an organism that help it to survive in its natural habitat. Adaptations occurs in response to changes in the environment, lifestyle or relationship to other organisms. Even among a given adaptive type, birds show tremendous diversity. Some of the widespread adaptive types of birds are discussed below. Birds, class aves or clade aviale are feathered, winged, two-legged, warm-blooded, egg-laying vertebrates. There are nearly 10,000 known species of modern or recently extinct birds marked under class aves. Birds have very well adapted legs and feet according to the habitat where they live. Bird feet and toes are adapted in various species for grasping perches, climbing, swimming, capturing prey and carrying and manipulating food. Birds are constructed for essentially two modes of locomotion, flying with forelimbs and bipedal walking, running or swimming with their hind limbs. Birds are bipedal but evolved from quadrupeds. Balance becomes an important issue with bipedal organisms. To help with balance, most birds have four toes, three of which point forward. The backward pointing toe is called the hallux. Here we will see different types of feet of birds with adaptive modification. There are various types of birds feet like first cursorial or running feet, second perching feet, third climbing and clinging feet. In that subtypes are first zygodactylus feet, second heterodactylus feet, third syndactylus feet and fourth Pamperodactylus feet. Fourth is raptorial feet. Five, scratching feet. Six, swimming feet. Seven, wading feet. First is cursorial or running feet. The effect of cursorial habit on the legs are to reduce the length and number of toes. The hind toe is elevated, reduced, or absent. The foot and toes become particularly sturdy. The bustard and curses are extremely short-toed birds having only three toes directed forward. The emu, rhea and casuary also possesses only three toes. The legs of ostrich that is struthio are long that inhabits open land. Second is perching feet. In perching birds, the tendon of the foot are so arranged that the weight of the body automatically causes the toes to flex and grasp the perch when the bird alights upon a branch. The great majority of birds belong to the category of perching birds or passers. The passerine or perching foot is an example sparrow. Robin, crow, is characterized by the usual arrangement of three toes in front and one behind. The toes are large and provided with sharp and curved claws. The anterior toes are slender while the hind toe or hallux is long, strong, incumbent and opposable for securely fastening the foot to a branch. Third is climbing and clinging feet. Many birds 
lead a strictly arboreal life. Their feet are used as grasping organs. They are especially adapted for clinging and climbing on vertical surfaces. Different kinds of climbing feet are found in different types of birds. First is zygodactylous feet. In parrots, tokens, cuckoos and woodpeckers, the outer or fourth toe remains permanently turned backwards. Thus, the foot becomes yoke toed having two toes that is hallux and outer pointing backwards and two that is second and middle in front. Second is heterodactylous feet. The foot in trogons is unique in that unlike woodpeckers the hallux and second and outer toe. Third is syndactylous feet. In syndactylous feet all the front toes or the middle and outer toes are united together. As an example the kingfishers, blue jaws or rollers and bee eaters. Fourth is pamperodactylous feet. In swifts, hummingbirds, martinets and volleys or mouse birds the hallux can be turned forwards so that all the toes point forwards and the birds are enabled to cling to the steep faces of cliffs or under caves of house while they feed their young. These birds spend almost the whole of their walking hours on the wing and almost never alight on ground. Their hind limbs are reduced to the smallest possible size, barely strong to grasp a perch. A striking illustration of the effects of disuse on the science of size of the hind limbs. Fourth is raptorial feet. Predatory or carnivorous birds like vultures, hawks, kites, eagles and owls etc. have strongly taloned feet for striking and grasping the swiftly moving prey. All the four toes are present and hallux is always strong developed. The grip of foot is increased by the development of large fleshy bulbs or tilari on the under surface of toes especially long in the sparrow hawk. In ospreys and fishing owls that is ketupa the tilari are absent. Instead the skin is beset with sharp denticulate horny spines. This roughened surface serves to maintain a grip on slippery creatures such as fish which form the staple diet. The outer or fourth toe is reversible at in ospreys. The strength of feet of raptorial birds is enormous. The goshawk for example kills its prey by the grip of its feet. Fifth is scratching feet. The gallinaceous birds such as the fowls, quails, pheasants and other ground dwelling birds have stout feet with strongly clawed toes which are adapted for running and scratching. Sixth is swimming feet. It is generally believed that webbed feet are essential to birds which swim but this is not true in all the cases. For example, water hens are expert swimmers having free toes of great length and slenderness. The frigate bird has short legs with considerably reduced webs. The screamers, a tribe of ducks, swim much but have free toes. Among diving birds like coots, phalaropes and grebes, the feet are lobate. All the toes are free but each toe is pedal like bordered on either side by a flat lobe or expansion of skin. The nails are flattened and the tarsus compressed. In ducks, teals, mallards, loons, albatross, 
flamingos, terns, skimmers, puffins and gulls etc. The feet are webbed and adapted for swimming and paddling. Only three anterior toes are united in a web. The foot is totipalmate or pelicaniform in stegonopodus birds such as cormorants, pelicans, darters, gannets and boobies characterized by having all the four toes enclosed in a web. 7 is wading feet. The legs and toes are exceptionally long and slender for padding or walking over aquatic vegetation and mud in wedding or marsh birds such as herons, snipes, jacana, virginia rail, etc. The web is absent or only feebly developed as in greater yellow leg. Some other examples are as follows. First is little woodpecker Eurasian tree creep. The creepers, which are arboreal species, have zygodactylous toes allowing them to climb on the tree trunks. Second is Ceylon jungle fall. They have robust legs made for walking. The feet have four toes, three forwards and one backward, equipped with strong claws. They often scratch the ground to catch insects and earthworms. Third is Eurasian common cranes. The largest species such as cranes and stalks can be found in both wet and drier areas. They usually forage mainly in cultivated areas and drier fields, but they also can be seen in rice fields marshes or along the shores and the river banks. Fourth is limp kin. They have robust long legs and feet equipped with long strong toes. They are able to walk as well as in harvested fields as in shallow or deeper water according to the range. Fifth is Brazilian teal goosander. They have short legs and webbed feet. The foot has three front toes joined by a fine membrane, allowing these birds to swim easily when the membrane stretches under the water pressure. The rear toe is shorter and free. The feet are used as pedals and propel the bird into the water. Sixth is common eater. Whooper swan. On the other hand, the webbed feet make very difficult for these species to walk or run on the ground. Seven is pink footed goose, bar headed goose. They are often seen close to the water, feeding on grass, walking slowly while grazing. Eight is king penguin. Rock hopper. It has thick, short legs and webbed feet. These birds walk much more, often in the snow or the ice, and their feet are stronger with thicker membrane. They swim with the help of their flippers and seem to fly underwater. Ninth is African jacana. The jacanas have long, thin legs and very long fine toes, three forwards and one backwards. These birds often move by walking on the broad leaves of aquatic vegetation such as water lilies or similar plants. Ten is common moorhen. The moorhens have shorter legs than jacanas, but their feet are very similar slightly shorter but with thin toes. They occur in aquatic areas with floating vegetation and swim very well. 11 is giant wood rail. The rails 
have strong long legs equipped with robust long toes but shorter than in jacanas they can swim if necessary 12 is common coot the coots have relatively short legs compared to the other species but their feet are unique each toe is equipped with a series of fleshy lobes and the underside is flat allowing the bird to swim but also to run and walk on the mud they have three toes forwards and one backwards 13 is stellar's sea eagle bald eagle raptors are powerful birds hunting for food in different ways the bill is used for feeding but legs and feet are used for catching prey and killing them 14 is rufous crab hawk this one feeds only on crabs caught from a perch it catches the crab with the help of long legs 15 is osprey the osprey is a fish eating raptor which shows a particular feature most of raptors have three toes forwards and one backwards but although the osprey has the same type of foot it is able to change this configuration for better catch it is able to grasp slippery fishes it can grip firmly the fish 16 is snail kite the snail kite has long well curved claws it is a specialized forager only feeding on large freshwater snails 17 is black vulture king vulture vultures are different they have weak poorly padded feet and slightly curved talons but vultures are scavengers and do not catch or kill their prey they have bare toes and tarsi making easier to clean them after feeding in bloody carcasses 18 is snowy owl great horn owl owls have feathered legs and several species also have feathered feet the owls living in temperate areas usually have bare legs and feet summary now we will summarize this topic in this topic we have mentioned about adaptive modification of feet in birds adaptation occurs in response to changes in the environment lifestyle or relationship to other organisms in this topic we emphasizes that the different types of feet like cursorial or running perching climbing and clinging raptorial scratching swimming and wading with suitable examples showing diversity in them according to their